Hey, this is America Vindy Traveler. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I pack for a trip to Southeast Asia. Now, I've already been on two long-term trips in the region. I was in Southeast Asia for nine months, then I was there for two and a half months, and I'm gonna go there for a third time soon. So uh, I'm gonna show you how I pack. Um, it's not necessarily an example to follow exactly, because I know that everyone packs a little, in a little bit of a different way, because it's a very personal thing, but uh, it is intended to show you how you can pack minim minimalistically and how it's possible to pack everything you need for Southeast Asia in just a 40 liter backpack. So I'm gonna do this in reverse a little bit. Um, I've already packed my bag. I'm gonna unpack it and show you uh, exactly what's inside. So here's my 40 liter backpack, a 4.40 by Osprey, which may not look like much, but actually a lot fits inside. So let's have a look. So here we have, to begin with, a universal travel adapter. Uh, this is pretty neat if you don't want to worry about uh, the plug types uh, in different countries around the world. It also has uh, two USB ports, which is pretty neat if you want to charge your phone. This is a little travel organizer. I recommend getting one of these. It's pretty neat. Uh, it uh, really reduces the, uh, the likelihood of losing uh, small items. I've got batteries here. I've got um, some earplugs, highly recommended for Southeast Asia, bring earplugs. I've got some um, other like uh, first aid stuff. I've got a GoPro. I also have a regular camera, but I'm shooting with that right now. Uh, GoPro is pretty neat. Um, you're gonna probably spend a lot of time in and around the water, so the protective housing is pretty fun uh, to use. Uh, I also have a floaty attachment, so you don't lose it when you're in the water. Pretty nice. This is a rain jacket, but I would actually say this might be optional for Southeast Asia because um, rain showers are pretty intense in Southeast Asia, but they don't last that long usually. And when they're done, you uh, can basically dry up within like 15 or 20 minutes. So here's a headlamp. I recommend getting this because sometimes there are power outages in Southeast Asia and you don't want to be without a light. Um, in hostels is pretty useful because uh, you might have to rummage around uh, your bags and don't want to wake people up by turning the lights on. And uh, this is pretty cool on hikes as well because some of the hikes leave in early morning. Uh, so this will be pretty handy then as well. Padlock, this is a pretty small one. I would probably recommend getting a bigger one, but a lot of uh, hostels and guest houses in Southeast Asia do expect you to um, bring your own padlock. Um, so definitely bring one of these. MacBook Pro, don't really need to bring a laptop on a trip abroad, but I think it's nice. I'm a travel blogger as well, so I need to have my laptop with me, but if you have a tablet or something like that, that will weigh a little bit less and might be a little bit nicer. <laughs> This is a quick drying travel towel, much lighter than a regular towel, highly recommended. Bag with toiletries, about five different shirts or six different shirts. You can get uh, laundry done very cheaply in Southeast Asia. It will cost maybe a couple of dollars, dollars per wash. So there's no reason to pack more than just a week's worth of shirts. Here's a hoodie and you might wonder why bring a hoodie to Southeast Asia. It's going to be hot everywhere, right? Actually, sometimes in the mountains it's cold and um, if you're gonna go to a cinema, for instance, or a shopping center, they crank up the AC to insane levels. So actually a hoodie is pretty handy in those situations. Um, this is uh, this is on product placement. Um, this is my book that I wrote, Travel the World Without Worries. If you're going on a longer trip to Southeast Asia or anywhere in the world, this will help you get the most out of your adventure. Uh, I'm just showing this that there is um, you know, space for a book. Uh, but uh, if you're actually interested in the book, you can check it out on my website. Two pairs of shorts, swimming trunks, three, three pairs of socks. Packing cube, this is pretty neat. This is a slim packing cube by eBags. They fit precisely into a 40 liter backpack. Uh, I recommend getting a couple of these. I usually have two or three of these with me for storing underwear, socks, or uh, rolled up t-shirts. It's a pretty nice way to organize your stuff. 